Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to get started with Hilla. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have all the needed technologies installed. So make sure that you have node version 16.14 or later, I'm using 18 here, and then make sure that you have Java version 11 or later, I'm running 19 here. Once you have those two, you can use NPX to run the Hilla CLI. So I'm going to run NPX at Hilla CLI, we're going to run init to initialize a new project. If we add a React flag like this, we will get a React based front end. If we emit it, we get a lit based front end. So I'm going to add React here, and then we're going to give our project a name, Hilla world. And this will take just a moment to run. And what we'll have once we run this is a new folder containing our project. So we'll CD into the Hilla world project, we're going to open this in our IDE, you can use any IDE you like, I'm going to use VS Code here, but you could use IntelliJ, Eclipse, NetBeans, whatever you prefer to use. Now looking at the project, you will notice that we have a pom file here, it's a Maven project, we have a source main Java folder here, which can, includes all the Java files for the project, all the backend files. And then we have this front end folder, which includes the entire front end of the application. We can run this application in two different ways, we could run the Spring Boot application through our IDE, or then we can open up a terminal and run the Maven wrapper uh, to start the application. When we run the Maven wrapper, what's going to happen is it's going to download the Maven dependencies, and it's going to download the front end dependencies through npm. So the first time you do this, it will take just a moment. And once it's done, you will see that you have the application up and running like this. What's cool here is that it comes with built in change detection. So whenever you change your code, it will automatically reload your browser. So if we went into the uh, Hello World view here, and we added a say h2 here saying, Hello, world, that would show up here immediately. Alright, so that was it. Happy hacking and let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Bye.